Excellent job. Um, let me go back to the beginning. Ah, it's just a question. One more time, Berta. Question format. Kim Jong Un's hair for all. There you go. Kim Jong Un's hair for all. Kim Jong Un's hair for all. Excellent. Careful with the R. Ordering. 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 Okay, that's not too bad. Now, this is the tough thing to make sure that these words sound different. So, Berta, can you read the first word? Yeah. Order. Order. <laughs> they sound the same, Berta. Why? The, the other one has another. I know, but but Berta, it sounds the same. No, no, no. I mean, you sound the same. It should sound different. No, I, I rolled the R in the second one. <laughs> I said or I said or there. Okay, watch me. Order. So the first word, O-D-O-R, there's no movement. No movement of the jaw, no movement of the lips. Watch. Odor. 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 So the key is the O. O. And you don't have to go O. You can just say O. Odor. 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 Now, the second word, we need to use our lips and the R. So it's like order, order. So once yeah, again, in the first, in the first one, um, you don't uh, pronounce the second R. I'm no, we old. do, we do. It, the the ending is the same. Okay. These sounds are the same, but the beginning is very different. Okay, so once again I'll say I'll say the first word, then the second word. I'll do it two times. Watch closely. Odor. Order. Odor. Order. Can you see the difference? It seems that in the second one you pronounce it O. Right. And it's because we gotta get a clear R. Or 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 yeah it's very in the um, first one, you said only all. Exactly. Okay, so Berta, say the first word and then the second word, please. Order. More O. Order. Give me more O. O. I'm sorry. Odor. 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 Okay, that was good. Say it again, please. Just the first word. Order. No. Odor. Order. O. Odor. Odor. Perfect. Odor. Odor. Perfect. Okay, I think the key is the D yeah. for you, the key. So so that was perfect. You see them B because you use it like the flat T, right? Oh, uh, no, no. This is a D. It's not a flat T. It's a clear D. Odor. Odor. Oh, okay. All right. Now, let's try the second one. Order. Oh, is that a flat T? Is that a flat? Order. Yeah, this is going to be much more like a flap. Much more like a flap. But, but the key is or, or, order. Or, or uh, there. Okay, that sounded order. much better. Yeah. Order. No. Oh, that was the first word, right? Yeah. The second word? Order. That was better. Say it quicker. Order. Order. <laughs> Order. Bless you. Thank you. Order. <laughs> that was really good. So let's let's go to a restaurant. Um, I'd like to order a taco. Like to order a taco. One more time. You you you're you're ordering. I'll I'll be the the guy at the counter. What would you like for lunch? I would like to order a taco. Sounds good. Uh so I always tease students if you mispronounce if you ask the waiter for odor, he'll do this. <sighs> he'll send his body odor. 
to you, okay? So be careful with yeah. those two sounds. Yeah, that's the reason I never use that uh, over here. I said, uh, I would like to have a <laughs> taco. <laughs> no, you're right, you're right, you're right. <laughs> exactly. That's very smart. That's right, that's right. Okay, and then this one, to wow. model their hairstyles after his own. To model the hairstyles after his own. Intonation, Berta. To model their hairstyles after his own. To model the hairstyles after his own. After his own. After his own. No, no, no. Em we got to have emphasis. This is what's important. To model after. To model after means copy, okay? Uh, especially copy something specific. So we need to highlight after. To model their hairstyles after his own. To model the hairstyles after his own. No. Listen carefully and watch my head. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be a little bit exaggerating. To model their hairstyles after his own. To model the hairstyles after his own. After his own. After his own. <laughs> okay, not too bad, not too bad. Let me go. Santa had no problem. Zulma. Land. Yes. <laughs> Land. There you go. American pronunciation. And so many students want to say uh, protest, which is okay. You can say protest. However, most Americans are going to say protest. So let's try this. With attempts to protest. With attempts to protest. Good, good. Having to mimic the leader's style. Having to mimic the leader's style. Now these two S's, put them together, Zulma. Leader's okay. style. Leader's style. Perfect. And here too, intonation, will no doubt... We no doubt... All soon be sporting... All soon be sporting the dear leader style. The dear leader style. Good. And make this very clear. Make that very clear. So let's do it again. We'll no doubt all soon be sporting the dear leader style. We'll no doubt all soon be sporting the... <laughs> it's good. <laughs> No, it was good. We are leader style. Oh, that was good. That was good. Very good. Very good. And Berta, uh, it's unclear what the penalty will be for non-compliance. Or if there is a grace period for those who need to grow. Or if there is a grace period for those who need to grow. Can you try that it's again, please? What the penalty will be for non-compliance or there is a grace period for non -compliance. And I, I want you to get the intonation again. Or if there is a grace period. Uh, so I'll read it again. Or if there is a grace period. Berta, did we lose you? Mm, I'm not hearing Berta. Okay. Uh, now I can hear you. Berta, are you there? Hmm. Okay. Uh, everything else was good. Just intonation is, is tough. And I, I told Berta the last time that I'm considering making uh, an extra MP3. Uh, yeah, but now all well, the people I don't want to be in that kind of private either. I'm sorry? Uh, I, I, I don't think I want to be able to be in that kind of on Friday. Friday's not going to work? Oh, my God. I don't like to be with a lot of people anyway. Oh, uh, well, right now, 
That's okay. It doesn't work uh, for you today. No problem. Well, that's the thing. For me, it's no I problem. Join. I don't need to join the this. Right now, I, I think um, if we have it on Friday, um, I think it'll be Berta, and we have to ask Miguel and Jose, I don't know about them, but Fabio and uh, Barbara and Jay. So right now, I think it's uh, just the four of you. Uh, specifically for Friday um, and hopefully Jose and Miguel um, so that would be uh, altogether five of you that's that's hopefully what we'll have um, maybe Eugene Eugene it might be a better time for uh, Gene from from uh, Russia from st. Petersburg he might be able to join there too um, so Actually, it would just be regarding the number, just one more person um, for a normal for a normal class. Um, so I don't think you have to worry. It's not going to be a group of eight or nine people. That's for sure. Um, the other the Saturday classes is, is like that, but it's not going to be very big. That's for sure. Um, let me go to Santa. You had a bit of a British pronunciation, which is fine. But American, we have more of an aw, A-W sound, broadcasting. Broadcast. Perfect, perfect. Okay. Any questions on this goofy story? Do you like his hairstyle? No, he's so hot. <laughs> it's kind of scary. Who's the guy? We had a picture. Ah, uh, Beckham. Yeah, Beckham, uh, David Beckham actually has that long curtain bang look, uh, which was uh, is a little bit of a Kim Jong-un style. No questions? Do you guys, I don't know if you went through this, uh, the picture of all the, the dictators. Do you know everybody? I don't know everybody. I have no idea who some of these people are. I know number two, number four. I think I know number five. Uh, I know seven. I might know number ten. And I don't know the other guys. Uh, Zulma, who do you know? I don't know. You don't know any of them? You know number two. Uh, what about you, Santa? Santa and Berta, do you guys know any of these dictators? Yeah, Santa says Idi Amin. I think this is Idi Amin. Um, this, I think, is Julius Caesar. This is Muammar Gaddafi. I believe this is Pol Pot from Cambodia. Ah, uh, this is... Is this the guy from Romania? Ceausescu or something? I'm not sure. I think this is Napoleon. And... I'm not sure. I think I think this guy might be either from Chile or maybe Spain. I think he's from Chile though. Pinochet. Pinochet, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, and I don't know the other dictators. No idea. Anyway. Um yeah, dictator is a scary word. Has Colombia always has Colombia had a dictator in the past? Um, 
I'm not sure. It's it's pretty much been democratic, right? Yes. That's yes. good. As far as I know, Mexico has has in modern history always been democratic too. Just one, just one person was a uh, yes. Who? For four years, the name is Gustavo Rojas Pinilla. Ah, uh, from Colombia. Yes. Mm, and uh, when was that? In 1953. All the way to 1993? 1953. Uh, okay, up to 1953. Wow. And Santa, what about uh, in your country? Have you had a dictator? Santa's last words were Napoleon. Are you from France? Once again, it's pretty late. Okay, uh, if there are no questions. I will go ahead and move on to 106. 106 was Seinfeld. Did you have a question? Seinfeld. Uh, now, actually, it's very interesting. There's a scene in Seinfeld where George says, I had to go. And about 80% of the students had no idea why this was funny. Um, so I'm curious. Uh, I know that Santa lives in an English-speaking country, and so does Beretta. When you were watching the show, did you understand immediately what George meant, or did it take a while? I'm curious. Do you have an answer? Yeah, of course I understand. Um, here they use it all the time. Right. Um, I have to go, or I have to use it. Exactly. Do you say the same thing in Spanish? Hmm. I don't know. Let me. I have to think. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Anymore. That's okay. I know in Korean they don't say the same thing, as far as I know. Uh, Santa, did you understand right away? Does that mean I gotta go to the toilet? Yeah, yeah I gotta go to the toilet. I gotta go to the bathroom. I gotta go pee. Yeah, that's what I was before. <laughs> <laughs> Berta, you're too honest. <laughs> okay. You have to go. When you have to go, you have to go. Yeah, when you gotta go, you gotta go. Yeah. That's right. That's what George is saying. Yeah. <laughs> now, Zuma, I guess you did not understand right away, did you? Yes, of course. <laughs> so. After my explanation, is that when you understood, or did you understand before that? Uh, I didn't saw your explanation. Sorry. Oh, my goodness. That's okay. That's okay. So, how do you say in Colombia when, when you have to go to the bathroom, Surma? Oh, I'm going to the toilet, oh, yes. <laughs> I think in Mexico, I think in Mexico they say, Oh, ya me anda. <laughs> oh, ya <yeah>, me anda. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think, yeah. Oh, that's great. Yeah, okay. So, so English, it's really, now, now actually somebody asked a really good question. What if you are in a business meeting and you have to leave the meeting? But you say, uh, excuse me, I have to go. Will people think you want to pee or will people know you want to leave? And that's a good question. Um, in a business meeting, in a typical public situation, I have to go means leave. However, among friends, and we can kind of sense the situation, 
I have to go can mean I have to go to the bathroom. Okay? Of course, you can always look at somebody's body language. If they go, I have to go, then we can assume that they have to go to the bathroom. But uh, yeah, so it's a, it's a very confusing thing. Uh, and not too many people got it. So uh, yeah, I'm glad. Go ahead, Berta. No, and also I wanted to, um, to talk about other things here. Sure. You know, when I um, told you about the PECT. PECT, yes, I, yes. Yeah. Um, I didn't know what that means. Um, you know, when you peck, when a rooster pecks you. Something. Right, right. Uh, and here in the South, uh, everybody constantly says, um, uh, raising kids is like to be pecked by a rooster. Yeah. And I always hear that, but in this situation, uh, when Elaine, when I was dictating Elaine, I said, oh, she said pecked, but what does she mean by that? <laughs> so That's I had to go to the dictionary and then I, uh, I look for it and that means the little piece and the chick. Exactly. And actually we say, when we, when we talk about a kiss on the cheek, uh, and we say yeah, the word peck. It's like a bird. It's like a, it's like when a bird goes. It's just very brief, very short, and uh, it's it's kind of like a bird peck. But you're right, Berta. The other meaning of peck is to bother somebody, like like a bird pecking you. It's bothering you, like children. Yeah. Yeah, and I was talking uh, last night with somebody in Spanish about that. And they told me that Spanish is the same thing. Well, in Mexico, they say, uh, to, in a step of kiss, they say pico. <laughs> oh, wow, it's the same. And that's, uh, yeah, and uh, it's the same like in English. And I go, oh, wow, interesting. Excellent, excellent. Okay, we got a lot to do here. So, um, Berta, do you want to be Elaine or Jerry? It doesn't matter. Zulma, yeah. do you want to be Elaine or Jerry? Can you give me uh, two Go seconds? Go ahead. Elaine. Well, one more time, uh, Benita. What was that? Ah, oh, she give me give me a second. Okay, yeah. Okay, so Zulma, you can be Elaine, and uh, Benita will be Jerry. And Santa, I I didn't even ask Santa if what who she wanted to be. Santa will be George. <laughs> And Santa, and I guess I'll be Kramer. Yeah, I'll be Kramer. Okay, I'm here. Okay, great. So, Berta, please be Jerry, Zulma, Elaine. Um, George will be Santa, and I will be Kramer. Go for it. All right. Listen to this. Do you remember that guy I was telling you about at the hair club? The fly boy. Yeah. Hey, where's George? I thought he was with you. I waited. He didn't show up anyway. This guy got me an open loop kiss. Oh, so? So, we always just kind of pick. This one had a totally different dynamic. Dynamic? Really? Yeah, I mean, his upper lip landed flash on my upper lip, but his lower lip landed well below my rim. Monster? Yeah, definite monster. Monster. <laughs> That's an open lip kiss, right? Yeah. Listen, I think kids give me a bit sign. I mean, maybe he wants to change our relationship. Ah, rela ah, relationship. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, it's George. 
Hey, what's happening to you? Nothing. Little problem. Well, what was it? I mean, I was waiting. Can I come upstairs, please? <laughs> I mean, maybe he wants to ask, to ask me out. Berta! Oh, I'm sorry. Um, I don't know why you're interested in this guy. He's a dear. Because he doesn't pay any attention to me. And he ignores me. Yeah, so? I respect that. Hmm, what happened? Nothing. I said it was a little problem. Yeah. yeah. What? What was it? Well, I was in the locker room showering, and I had to go. So. <laughs> there we go. Here we go. <laughs> anyway, I think the guy in the shower opposite saw me. He even gave me a dirty look. You went in the shower? Yeah, so what? I'm not the only one. Do you go in the shower? No, never. <laughs> Do you? I take baths. Well, what, what was I supposed to do? Get out of the shower, put on my bathrobe, go all the way down at the other end, come all the way back? Did you ever hear of holding, holding it in? Oh no, no. That's very bad for the kidneys. How do you know? Medical journals. <laughs> <laughs> do the medical journals mention anything about standing in a pool or someone else's urine? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Very good. Very good, ladies. Good job. Let me go back to the beginning here. Um, Elaine's line. This guy, get, now, this is actually really tough to say quickly, and other students mentioned it too. Um, but we have the rule, if you remember, um, we have of and apostrophe VE and the word have. And if the next word begins with a consonant, oops then we can cancel uh, the V sounds, right? You remember that rule, Zulma? Okay. You know the rule, right, Zulma? Yes, no? So I'll, okay. I'll give you a quick example of each. Yes. Okay, good. So, um, kind of strong. In this case, we can cancel the V and we can say kind of strong, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, this word actually is very similar, okay? In America, we have the word give me, and many Americans write it like gimme, gimme, because the V, just like in these situations, gets canceled because of this consonant. Not always, but sometimes. So we can say the same thing here. So this guy gave me, in order to say it fast, we can actually cancel the V and we can say, this guy gave me. Can you try that? But I think Elaine said gave me. Just yeah, she does. She does. She does. She does. She does have the V a little bit. But try it again, uh, Zulma. <laughs> this guy gave me. Gave, yeah, this guy gave me. Gave me. There, that she sounded good. Me. And she emphasized it. me. Yeah, that's yes, she does. That's right. But once again, I'm just talking about uh, the the difficulty in pronunciation. I had a, a guy from Poland say he had a really hard time saying this sentence. His dictation was perfect. So try it again, Zulma. 
This guy gave me, gave me a kiss. This guy gave me a kiss. That sounded really good. One more time. This guy gave me a kiss. This guy gave me a kiss. Okay, let's try this. This guy gave me an open lip kiss. This guy gave me an open lip kiss. You sounded much, much better. And then, now your speed is really good. And what I want you, if you have time, I want you to practice. Try keeping the V sound. Try keeping the V. That was really good. Uh, in this case, we've always, now here we have kind of, and this word is pronounced pecked. 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 So it's, it's like, uh, do you know this word, fact? Pronounce that word, Zuma. Fact. Fact. Okay. What about this word? Hack. I can't see at the screen anything. Just ah, <laughs> you can't see one side. <laughs> Okay. I'll write it in the chat room. So say this word. Uh, P a c k e d. Packed. Pack. One more time. Packed. Pack. Perfect. Same thing here, but it's pecked. Pack. Perfect. Uh, different dynamic. Different dynamic. Perfect. And the pronunciation, the American the typical pronunciation, moisture, moisture, moisture. So it's like a C H E R. Moist, strong S, chur. Moisture? C -H, C H um I don't know. I don't what? It's, it's like it's like this. Moisture. moisture. Yes. Moisture. Perfect. Perfect. Moisture. So you pronounce the T? No, no. It it, it moisture. It, yep. It's a it's a T and a U, so it kind of changes to a C H sound. That's right. Very good. All right. And Zulma, this sentence again, please. I think he's giving me a big signal. I'll put it in the chat room if you can't see it. Hold on a second. Okay. I think he's giving me a big signal. I think he's giving me a big signal. Perfect. Everything else is really good. Uh, this sentence is intonation, and she's talking to George, and now suddenly she's talking to Jerry. So anybody, which word do we emphasize in this sentence? Well. Actually, you, okay? Because she's talking to George, and now she changes to Jerry. So, do you? Oh, yes. Okay. Do you go in the shower? Do you go in the shower? No, never. Do you? And she emphasizes it again here, too. So, Zulma, one more time. Do you go in the shower? Do you go in the shower? Perfect. How about um, over there when she goes, um, you went in the shower? Yeah, she actually says, you went in the shower? You went in the shower? Yeah, perfect, perfect. Yeah, she really keeps the T very clear. Yeah, that's what I want to talk to you because, see, now you correct Sulma up there saying the, don't to say gay or cancel the B or whatever you said to Sulma because I don't like to follow your rules because sometimes in uh, Elaine, uh, she's very clear in her speaking and you always correct me and, and different. And, and Elaine says this clearly. Yeah, it's... Uh, she speaks very clear. She is very understandable. And even you, you correct me and you say it the same. <laughs> yeah, it's... it's so, regarding it's speaking, women almost always have much clearer pronunciation than men. It's probably uh, You true. too. You have clear pronunciation too. That's good. Um, and, and just remember, when I'm, when I'm teaching the cancellation and I ask you to repeat, 
it's for listening skills. When you're speaking, I always recommend uh, the... Yeah, the I understand that, that. You always talk to me, explain to me like that. But now I said, you went in the shower because you said, oh, cancel the T, cancel the T. And I cancel it and you say, oh, you have to pronounce it. So who understands you? <laughs> no, no, you're right, you're right. It's, and it's, it, remember, but... And then you corrected Vilma up there and Elaine said, I played it here for you. And so what's wrong? <laughs> what's going no, on no, no. here? <laughs> no, I, I, I totally agree. The, the point is, there's more than one way to say something. And uh, the but if I say when if, if I say here in America, because I've been living here for a long time, I tell somebody, I tell my daughter, uh, you, you went in the shower, she will understand me. Absolutely. She, she doesn't have to say, she, she, she is an American, and she's, her first language is English, is English, and she won't tell me, oh, mom, you didn't pronounce it T. No, right. She, she, she wouldn't say that. And same with me, Berta. If I was talking to my mom, you went in the shower, I absolutely Everybody would. Everybody said that in California, they say that. And in yeah. California, they, they do cancel. California, so, they do because they lived there for 12 years. So and, why? So the question is, why did Elaine pronounce the T? There is a reason. Why did she pronounce it? She, Elaine uh, pronounces very clear. Very, very clear. She doesn't, she others, um, when she talks about you, she doesn't say you. She say about you. Okay, but okay, that's a good point. However, let's go to this next sentence. How she never, did she I say this? Said you. She never says you. Oh, no, no, no. How did she say this sentence? It's you. I, uh, there is. She said, Jabber. Jabber? Yeah, ever, yeah, that one, but I mean, when, for example, she says about you, when she said that word, she says about you. In this she sentence, about you. How, how did she say you in this sentence? Do you remember? I think uh, she had a little slide of uh, the jasm. Actually, she emphasized it. So in that sentence, she said it clear. How do you know? How do you know? How did she do that D? I don't remember. Uh, how do you, let me find it. Hold on a second. Let me get the video. This is 106. I think she said, how do, how do, you, how do you know? I think she said duh, but let me find it. Did the medical journals mention anything about stick bad for the kidneys? How do you know? 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 Yeah. How do you know? So it's a duh, duh. How do you know? How do you know? But here, once again, Jever. Jever here. Jever here. Jever here. Jever here. Jever here. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, it's, it's, I want to say it's crazy. Uh, the pronunciation for different words and different sentences really can vary, really can vary. Um, the reason Elaine pronounced the T in went was, and I, I imagine if you are very angry and you're yelling at somebody, um, many times we don't speak fast, we actually slow down our speech and we pronounce things very clearly. And when she heard that George peed in the shower, she was like shocked. You went in the shower? And in my situation, I can imagine myself saying the same thing. Normally, you went in the shower, I would say it like that. Um, so yeah, English, and, and a lot of people miss those sentences, um, and I know why, because we want to keep the T, we want to, uh, it's tough, it's really tough, it's, it's, it just takes practice, and, and like Berta said, in America, when you're speaking with a native English speaker, and you have the word went, uh, where was it, you went in the shower, yeah. It's, it's a stop T in this situation, 
and I wouldn't pronounce it either. Yeah. <laughs> There's so many rules, and sometimes they, they're, it's not a law, but sometimes you have to follow the rule, and sometimes you ignore the rule. It's crazy. Hey, it makes um, my job. Yeah, I wanted to, to talk about the stuff. Um, do you think, uh, do they have the stuff tea in, uh, in the country? I mean, in all the United States. It's actually in California. I did have the stuff tea all the time, all the time. But I hear, here are some people in the South. They say it all the time. I can hear it all the time. So you hear the T or you hear the stop T? No, I hear the T all the time. And, um, and in California, I all, all the time, I never heard the T there. <laughs> I that's interesting. Yeah. No, that's this is, I, when I was young, I spent a month, uh, a couple months in Memphis. And they have a, a southern accent there. Um, but obviously, I, I can't remember. Um, that's one thing I would love to be able to do is to travel around America to the different places and really listen to how people speak. Um, for example, the AW sound, if you go to Northwest America, there is no AW sound. Yeah. It's so, I mean, different parts have different pronunciations. That's for sure. That's for sure. Yeah, that's the reason when I because when I heard Elaine talking, uh, sometimes I hear her saying all the sounds. Yeah. And I said, oh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. but Jerry doesn't. Jerry speaks half of English. <laughs> People hate dictating Jerry. Actually, I got a message. I got an email from from somebody. I can't remember who the email was from, um, but he said, thank you for not making many blank spaces for Jerry. <laughs> mm -hmm. They liked that uh, uh, Jerry was not speaking or was not dictating too much. That was good. Yeah, but the last two um, DDM, DDMs, uh, they were kind of uh, not that difficult, but sometimes it just, I don't know. Uh, I don't think that you are able to dictate. <laughs> sometimes. sometimes they're tough. Sometimes they're tough. Yeah, very. Oh, Juan is here. Hi, Juan. Hello, Jose. How are you doing? Good. How is the tennis? Or tennis or baseball? What are you playing these days? Um, tennis. Yeah. Yes. Are you beating your dad yet? Not yet. Maybe in a year. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. Is your dad good? I'm here listening to you. Oh, 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 oh. Sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> <laughs> How are you guys? Hey, I'm impressed of Bertha. Hey. Hi. He's speaking very, very well. Yeah, wow. I agree. I agree. Very fluent. Yeah. Yeah, she's uh, Berta is is working really hard, and uh, and you can hear the difference. It's it's really fantastic. Wow. Amazing. Berta loves to argue with me. Oh yeah, <laughs> I do because <laughs> I love to make uh, him to suffer. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, whatever, whatever you want to do, that's okay. <laughs> See, I'm mad at him because he didn't, uh, there's this client that she wants to join DDM very badly and he's ignoring, ignoring her. But it's not intentional. It's not intentional. I can't believe that she is asking me to push you. Jeez. I will, after this lesson, I will send Mayba uh, an email. Please do it, because if I, you don't do it, <laughs> oh. i have yeah, I'm very embarrassed. <laughs> I told her that you're not a good businessman. <laughs> bad, I'm bad. Oh, Santa says it's bad. To, I, yeah, it's, it's late. We're running really late. Santa, oh, I hope that you can stay a, 
10 more minutes, Santa? Is that possible? It's late. It's 3 a.m. Yeah, I totally understand. If you have to go, you have to go. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and, and finish this up. Uh, <clears throat> maybe we can keep Santa. Good. Thank you, Santa. Um, let's do this. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> uh, Zulma, can you be Jerry, please? And Bertha, can you be Meryl? And Santa, can you be Leo? And there's the where's the other guy? Ah, uh, Marty. I'll be Marty. And uh, unless Alberto is there, if Alberto is there, Alberto, can you be be Marty? All right, let's let's go for it. Hello. <laughs> oh, hello. Hi, what are you doing here? I just thought I drop off a few things. Oh, well, I must have been in the incinerator room when you left. Anyway, Mary, Albert is not here at the moment. Okay, uh, another quilt, huh? Gary, Uncle Leo. Hello. <laughs> Hello. So, if you or your wife want to drop by on Wednesday, it should be ready. Your wife? Your wife? I'm sorry, sir. What are you talking about? Yes, my wife. <laughs> One more time, Santa. Uh, why are you? What are you talking about? Um, I got married. You got married? I wasn't invited. Nobody sends me an invitation. When? You was so then. Are you ashamed of your uncle? Do I embarrass you? No, no. It was a small ceremony. Haven't I always been a good uncle? Yes, yes, you have. Who told you when you went to school that you print well? You did, you did. Okay. When he was younger, he had a beautiful penmanship. I used to encourage him to print. And I would paint it. I remember your V. It was like a perfect triangle. Whoa, there's my bus. Hello, wait. Uncle Leo, Uncle. Great job, great job. Uh, I forgot Meryl's was very short. Uh, be careful with the Y. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Oh, one more time. What are you? What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Oh, what are you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what? What are? What are you? <laughs> what are you doing here? <laughs> oh, you like the J today? That's okay. I'll be nice. I hate this. <laughs> oh, it's tough. It's this problem for me. I know the simple words are tough. I know. I know. Try and get more A. I must have been in this. I must have been. Thank you. I. Uh, I must have been. Have been. Have been. Uh, have been. More of an a uh, apple. Daddy, happy. Have. I must have been. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna let you go today. I want you to listen to this recording again, though. And this one, sudden. It was sudden. It. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I know you can't see. I'll copy it. Okay. He was sudden. There you go. Perfect. And that that's good enough uh, for pronunciation. Uh, 
Santa, you, you did great, and I know it's late for you, so if you need to go, uh, that's totally fine. Thank you for uh, helping us out today. Um, and questions, questions about anything. I love this picture. Yeah, that's cute. It's Is so she in uh, South Africa? I don't know if this is America or South Africa. I'm not sure. I'm not sure about the background of this uh, photo. Mm. It's so funny, though. Only children can do this. <laughs> yeah, I do have a question about um, all the way on the top um, what Jerry said, really? And um, I was wondering why you didn't put a question mark there. Ah. Okay. We can, actually, that's a good point, and we can put a question mark and this is what we call a rhetorical question. Um, and it, we usually say it when we're not really interested in what somebody is saying or when we don't really care. So that, and what that means is it is a question, but it's not a question. But Berta, you're absolutely right. Uh, we can add a question mark here. Um, because actually, uh, I think Jerry's intonation, it seems like it was a question, and um, up there where he, he say the fly boy. Yeah, he fly boy. Like that, and yeah, you put I, it into a question. Yeah, I changed that to a question. If you look at the answer script, I did change it to a question. The, yeah, but it seems that Jerry didn't, didn't go, the fly boy? He went. Well, the, and once again, yeah, once again, this is a, what we call a confirmation. And a confirmation is also like a rhetorical question. Sometimes you'll see them with a question mark and sometimes you won't, okay? Um, and it's really, and you know what, I don't know what the rule is for punctuation in this case, um, but Rhetorical questions and confirmations, we call that a gray area. Sometimes they're question marked, sometimes they're perioded. Yeah. Uh, for example, well, like uh, I think when in Mexico they taught me when it's a question, you have to emphasize it. Like for example, in that case, the playboy. Right, right with a rising in the rising tone. It will be like uh, Jerry says it. Um, that like boy. Yeah, yeah. I know it's exactly what you mean. Yep. The and we learned the same thing. If it's a question, we should have a rising tone. The fly boy? Right. Yep, I totally agree with that. Um, but I the reason I added a question mark, and the first time I didn't, the second on the on the initial blanks page, I didn't have a question mark. I left it as a period. And then yeah, so I changed it. Yeah, sometimes stuff, um, when you did that, well, it was kind of, uh, when you're practicing with a video and Jerry doesn't say it's like a question, and then you see the question mark there, and you go, oh. That's confusing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this, punctuation is a whole other subject that's yeah. really controversial. There's a, if you're interested in punctuation, I don't know if you are, but there's a really great book, and I do have... I am interested in punctuation. The problem is that I don't have time. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I'm not good in commas and, you know, and all that. Uh, this is actually I'm a funny, me. this is a funny book, Berta. Um, you might actually, it's, it's a book, you might actually enjoy it. It's called Eats, Shoots, and Leaves, and it's about punctuation. This is actually a really funny book. Um, I don't know if you read much, but if you do, you might actually enjoy this book. It's Shoots. Eats, oh. Shoots, and Leaves. Yeah. It might, I don't know, uh, but anyway, if, if, you know, if you ever are interested in punctuation, I do recommend that book. 
There's another book called Strunk and White. Yeah, right here, Elements of Style. This is the Bible of punctuation. Whoa, what the hell is that? Um, but uh, this, is, this is like a textbook, so I, I don't really recommend this. However, um, if somebody like Alberto, for example, Zulma's husband, uh, he needs to do, and actually Zulma too, if you're going to go to school in America um, and you're curious about punctuation, the elements of style is the punctuation Bible. Yeah, that's very cheap, six ninety-five. Yeah, it's a cheap one. This I have, I have both. Um, I have both of them. This one is how much? Uh, not too bad, eight dollars. Yeah. Yeah, they're both. They and they and I have both books. And uh, they're both great. Yeah. I have both Margarita books in boxes. Posted, yeah. Margarita posted something in the Let's uh, Master English community. Who did? Another day about punctuation. Yeah. Ah, uh, Margarita, yes. Yeah. It was interesting. Margarita has lots of interesting posts. Her tweets are interesting too. Yeah, because she doesn't work and she's always on the computer. Yeah. <laughs> she's lucky. She's busy. I don't have the passion to do that because I'm working all the time. I know, I know. <laughs> yeah, we got lots of, now uh, this goes back to old DDM, but yeah. Where's my... Yeah. <laughs> Yes, I miss there you. I really miss you every day with Juan, with my job. Oh, I know. <laughs> yeah, I tell you, you know, having a young boy um, is extremely oh, busy. Yeah. I know. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this is what Margarita pointed, uh, uh, found. It's great. Yeah, I know. I was looking at it and I like it. Yep. Yeah, it's great stuff. Yeah. Yeah, if our members post uh if our DDM members post links to other web pages, I keep it. But sometimes people post links to other education pages uh for business and I don't post those. Uh but if you're a member of DDM and you have good information to share, absolutely uh put the link there. That's totally fine. Well, thank you very much for joining me. Berta, do you have any plans for Sunday? For Sunday, um, no, not any plans, just a regular weekend. Is the weather warm down in Alabama? Yeah, today was like uh, 40, it was a very nice weather. That's yeah, good. And, uh, usually Sunday I go to Zumba and, and yoga. Oh boy, you're busy. Yeah. That's great. Zulma, do you have any plans tomorrow? Um, today is Sunday for me. That's right, that's right. Uh, it's midday. And tomorrow, uh, yes, I have to. I will see again my doctor. The specialist. Yes. Yeah. 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 And I want to enjoy this week because Juan starts his holiday, holiday school for two weeks. Oh boy. Yeah. Yes. So you're going to be really busy. Yes, yes. It's a good time for us. No, run away in the morning. <laughs> That's nice. That's nice. What time does Juan go to school in the morning? Eight, 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 eight thirty. He is starting school. So he about leaves at home. Minutes. Sorry. He leaves home about eight o'clock. Yes, yes, but he's so close. He oh, that's good. That's great. That's good. What time does Alberto leave in the mornings? Sometimes 6 a.m. Wow. 
Well, you guys have a fantastic week. And uh, once again, next week we do have the DDM live lessons. So if you uh, if you have time, you can join those also. Um, and good luck on the dictation this week. But yeah. Go ahead. You say you wanna have a class in the afternoon, and you wanna have a DDM live. Yeah, the DDM live schedule is is not gonna be a problem. Um, I am actually going to move DDM Live to Saturday. Right now, I have to double check. Hold on a second. So right now, DDM Live is Friday, 6 o'clock. And I am going to move this to uh, Saturday six o'clock uh, but not next week the week after or the two weeks after so you want to have two DDM lives on Saturday yep I'll have uh, two DDM lives and one DDM VIP on Saturday okay. yeah all right, ladies, thank you very much for, for joining me. Berta, you have a great evening, and Zulma, enjoy the rest of the afternoon. Okay, you too. Have a nice weekend. Thank Bye. you. Hope you feel better, Bye. Zulma. Bye. Adios. Adios. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. <laughs> Bye.